What's up guys, Vector Designs here, and today I have another GIMP tutorial. I'm really sorry that these haven't been coming out. I've been really busy because I started high school, and I'm lazy. Very, very lazy. But, aside from that, yay, new tutorial. So today, we're going to be making an interface orb that I made in the last few YouTube videos. So... Let's make a new template or image, and we'll, I'm just going to create a background. Nothing fancy. All right, now make a new layer, and we're going to make a circle. Make sure you click fixed and the aspect ratio make it 1 1 all right that's going to make it a perfect circle every single time so create the circle and we're going to fill it in with a dark gray color just like that make sure you keep it selected right and you're going to go to Select, shrink, and you're going to shrink it by a certain amount of pixels. Uh, you could, ju you guys can just experiment with this however much you want, but I am going to use five and see if that works. See, that is too small, so I'm gonna undo Control Z, select, shrink. Let me try ten. 10, I think, is a pretty good number. So, what we're going to do is delete that. And make sure you don't deselect it. Again, you're going to make a new layer. Right, that's selected. And you're going to choose the color of your orb. I'm going to choose blue. A uh, pretty light blue. So just choose that color and fill it in. Now you can finally undo. Alright, so now what you got is a basic shape of what your orb is going to look like. And we want this area to be beveled. So, like in the last tutorial, I I thought I taught you how to get the layer effects and we're going to be using that again. You're going to go to bevel and emboss. Select inner bevel and up the size. Put the soft in to 1 and merge with layer and we'll preview that. Looks pretty good. So I will press OK. Now, see what you got now is basically the like bevelness. <laughs> and now we need the shadow for the inside. Alright, so right click, Alpha 2 Selection. And that's going to highlight the entire th thing. And as you can see, if we zoom in, it's not going to show all of the, it's not going to select all of the pixels. So all, all you need to do to fix that problem is to go se select, grow, and just make it one. Alright. Now, go to your paintbrush and select black or a really dark color. All right, press OK. And you're going to make the size big. You're going to fill in the entire thing. All right. Now I think about it. Oh, wait. Make sure it's on a new layer. When you do it. 
All right. Now that you've got that, go to your eraser tool and sc scale down the brush so that it's pretty much exactly the same size as the circle. This is close enough. You see, the brush is exactly the circle. So you're going to click. Keep clicking until you get the hardness that you want. All right. That's good. And you can lower the opacity. I suggest about 80%. Maybe 75. And deselect. Alright. Bring both these two layers underneath the bevel layer. Now we've got the, pr the shape of it. Alright. Next, make a new layer. bring it on top of the entire image and you're going to use the ellipse select tool once again this time do not check fixed and you're going to draw a circle over just the top half before we do that I am going to merge these layers so that they're easier to work with. So we're going to go to merge visible layers and when I said merge vi visible layers I made sure that the two layers that I weren't that I didn't want to merge weren't visible. Alright so now that we have that alpha to selection this and we're going to select this end mode in ellipse select and this is intersect with the current selection what this will do is after I make this it will select only the part that goes from the circle that I selected with alpha 2 selection and the uh, ellipse marquee tool so you see only this is selected I'm going to edit this to about there. And I'm going to paint, fill this with a white. Maybe a light blue. Fill in whole selection. Now change the layer to soft light and lower the opacity to I'd say about 15 to 10 and now you've got an interface orb in which you can pretty much put anything in so I say I put a new layer in bring it to the top and I could type in V for my name. I'll use the font that I use. Red Rocket. And there we go. Of course it would need more touching up, but I'm not going to go over this that in this tutorial. Well, this is done, so I'll see you guys later. And look out for more tutorials. I'm sorry that I didn't post any more videos, any videos lately, but request them in the description below, and I will make a tutorial on it. See ya.